In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at five upgrades that you can add to your Bamboo Lab printers. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. We're going to be starting off by taking a look at Bamboo Lab's entry level printers, which are its A range of printers. Inside of the A range, we've got the A1 and also the much smaller A1 Mini. And both of these printers are both bed slingers and they also both support multicolored printing if you opt to make use of the AMS Lite. Bamboo's A range of printers would probably also be the printers that I recommend you pick up if you were thinking about getting started with 3D printing. Straight out of the box, they're really easy to set up and you can get going in about 10 minutes. They are though, however, far from perfect and that's pretty much where our first upgrade comes in. The first upgrade that we're going to be taking a look at is the Panda Lux LED and this one's available from the guys over at BQ or BQ, 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 however, however you say those guys' names, it's available from them and it costs just over £5. If you own either the A1 or the A1 Mini then you'll definitely know that the stock camera and also the stock light are pretty much just terrible, there's not really much point in actually having them. The stock camera by default is basically like a really bad slideshow. You can actually just about see what's on the plate just to identify whether it's still stuck to the plate. You can't really live stream it and there's not really much point in having the stock light because it's just, yeah, they're just, they're just bad. Although the Panda Lux doesn't solve both of these problems, it can at least solve one of them. Essentially, the Panda Lux is a little LED upgrade kit that basically just sticks to the bottom of your printer, enhancing its lights. The way that it works is you basically just peel off some sticky tape, stick it to the bottom of the printer, and then it uses a clever mechanism that just clicks onto the front of the light and then mimics that light. Included with your Panda Lux, you do also get some cable ties, which are used to just tidy the cables up out of the way to make sure they don't snag or catch on anything. And you also get some material tape, which you can use to just help stick the little connector part of the light sensor to the camera. So again, nothing should fall off and it should all stay in place. What's really nice about this is it just allows you to use the touchscreen to turn on and off the light and as the original bamboo light turns on it will turn on the Panda Lux and as it turns off it will also turn it off. The Panda Lux gets its power from the AMS port so it plugs straight into that and then power is fully delivered to the device. It's quite clever that they've done this and it saves you doing any kind of wiring or having anything additional plugged in. The LEDs that are being used on the Panda Lux are all heat resistant so there shouldn't be any kind of interference or any problems caused by the heat bed or any heat from the nozzle. I've had these installed for a good few weeks now and I haven't seen any signs of drooping or any of the adhesive coming off so I am pretty confident that they are going to stay stuck on. As soon as you turn the Panda Lux on you will immediately notice the difference because it really is just night and day. Just having those extra LEDs makes it so easy to see what's going on and you've just got a bigger spread of LEDs as opposed to just a little light in the corner shining a very flimsy light. The extra lighting does also help the camera out by just providing it with more light to actually see but the camera's bad so the stream and everything else is still bad. It would be nice if this was just a stock thing but thankfully it's very cheap to do and it is a worthwhile upgrade. Moving on to my second upgrade and we've got another one for the A range of printers but this time it's specifically for the AMS Lite. When you've got the AMS Lite set up on your desk it takes up a whole bunch of unnecessary space and this can easily just be resolved by 3D printing your own vertical mount. I've printed a mount for both my A1 and A1 Mini and I've been making use of some of the ones that are available from JJ Tech Prints. What's nice about these vertical mounts is the fact that they can rotate so it makes it really easy to load filament and also really easy to just twist it and access parts of the AMS that you want to access. The other really nice thing is the fact that it obviously it takes up so much less space. Having it vertical it basically still uses the same footprint that the A1 does so I've got all this extra room for activities. So many activities! One of the cool things about JJ Tech Print's design is it also features this mounting brace which is very similar to the one that Bamboo actually officially offer you as an optional print and it just helps with the stability of the print. For the A1 Mini I'm also using a very similar design that also saves me a whole bunch of desk space. With both of these two designs if you are interested in checking them out I will leave the Maker World link in the description below so feel free to check them out and go and print them for yourselves. Next up we've got Bamboo Lab's next range of printers which is the P series. Inside of here you've got the P1S and P1P and we've also got one of my favourite upgrades which is the Big Tree Tech Panda Touch. The Panda Touch is a touchscreen controller that connects to your printer wirelessly. 
The interface gives your P1P or P1S that same look and feel as the X1C, and personally I think it's also much more responsive than the screen on the X1C. Using the Panda Touch screen, you can perform actions on your printer such as setting your filaments, changing printer settings, moving the printer head around, and much, much more. It also features a side-mounted USB port, so you can plug into that and you can load files straight from it. The Panda Touch comes with a small magnetic backplate, and this is powered by directly plugging it into the internal USB port found on the P1S. What makes the Panda Touch really cool though is the plate that's attached to the P1S basically just acts as a magnetic charging dock. When the device is on it, it can be powered and charged, and then when you take the device off of it, you've got a little switch on the back that controls whether you want it to be mains powered or battery powered. If you take the Panda Touch off the dock, you can carry it around with you as a portable controller, and even cooler still is the fact that you can actually add multiple printers to one device, so the Panda Touch can control a whole bunch of devices in your workshop. You can pick up one of these Panda Touches from the Biku website for around £40, but I would advise that there is a chance that in the future Bamboo Lab may make a change to the software, which may stop this device from functioning, so just bear that in mind if you are picking one of these up. My next upgrade is yet another one from BiQ, and no, this video isn't sponsored by them, they just happen to make really good products that are worthwhile adding to your Bamboo Lab printers, but this video is in fact sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay are your one-stop shop for CNC, 3D printing, PCB design and assembly, and much, much more. Using PCBWay, you can turn your designs and ideas into products with ease. You can get instant quotes and feedback on parts and assemblies, and there's full traceability on the progress of orders that you make. If you need to make 3D printing and you don't have access to your own printer, or you don't want to spend time and money investing and learning 3D printing, then you can make use of PCBWay's simple 3D printing service. This gives you access to a wide range of different materials, colours and finishes, and you can have your models and parts manufactured and sent straight to you. So if you've got a smart home sensor, gadget or idea that you want to see brought to life, then head over to PCBWay and get started today. This is the BiQ Cryoplate. It's super sticky and it makes printing pretty much anything really easy. If ever I'm printing multiple models and I want to ensure that they stick to the plate without being knocked over or falling over, then I always go to one of these plates. These particular cryogrip plates are the brand new frostbite plates and they offer compatibility with PLA and PETG. They allow you to have a lower print bed temperature and a much stronger bed adhesion. Bamboo Labs actually do create their own super sticky plate which is the super tack plate and this plate is also really good. What's nice about that plate is that it's got a smooth texture, so if you want a smooth plate then check out Bamboo Labs one, and if you're after a more textured look and feel then check out the uh, Biku Biku, check out the Biku one. From the P1S then we're moving to the X1C and we're moving on to the final upgrade, and this one I've actually already shown off in a previous video, but it's an LED riser. In a previous video I showed off the BL LED, which is an ESP based LED controller. You can connect it to your printer and then it will show different lighting effects based on the different printer stages and different errors or whatever the printer's doing. For this particular X1C, I've basically recreated that, but instead of using a BL LED, I've basically just made use of this little Zigbee controller and paired it with Home Assistant. Using Home Assistant and the Bamboo Lab integration, I'm then able to have the lights reflect the different printer stages and statuses. So for example, if a print's finished, it'll be green, and if there's an error, it'll be red. I've also got full control over all of the different lighting effects and all of the different lighting colors. Just like with the A1 upgrade, what's really nice about this is you've just got so much more light, so it makes it really easy to see things inside the printer, which is great if you're doing any kind of maintenance or you just want to clean up the printer a little bit. I also actually designed this LED riser myself, and unlike the original version I showed off in that previous video, I've added some little clips around the edges just in case the LEDs decide one day to just fall off and lose their adhesion. I was always worried that they'd fall inside the printer, so hopefully with these little safety clips, if that does ever happen, it'll just be caught and they won't fall in. And there we go guys, that's been 5 upgrades for your Bamboo Lab printers. If you have enjoyed the video then don't forget to drop me a like, and if you aren't already, hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell, you'll then be alerted to any future video that I do. As always, a massive thank you to these awesome dudes, these awesome dudes are my Patreons and also my YouTube members, and if you are interested in helping support my channel, which in turn allows me to create content like this, then you'll find links to all the places that you can go to support me, all in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.